Hi, I'm Dean Crabb from C2 Solutions. We help businesses automate, systemize, and innovate the way they work. Now, there's a tool we use all the time internally in our business, and that's Snag. It's a great tool for capturing video or uh, screenshots and annotating on them and sharing it, okay? But there's a great feature in the back end of it that I love, and that's that you can upload those images and videos directly into your Google Drive. Now, typically, it uploads it into Screencast. That's the, the default account that you can create within Snagit. But it is a little bit slow, and the thing is, it becomes a bit of an island. Your own account is um, just yours. You can't see each other's. So the advantages of linking into Google Drive is that, one, it's very fast. When from the time you um, take the image and then you upload it. It's a very short delay to then it, you've got a copy of uh, the link in your clipboard. The second reason is that all those images are then retained in your Google Drive. So if you ever want to go back and find them, you can. It's in a single spot, which is what I really love. The third is team access. If you're putting them into your Google Drive, you can have them stored in a central location that everyone can get access to those images as well. So today I'm going to show you how to link in Snag into Google Drive and so you can use it yourself to better systemize and automate what you're doing in your business. Hope you like it. Okay, so Snagit is one of my favorite tools and today I'm going to show you how to upload images into your Google Drive, which I, I think is a really great advantage over the regular screencast. So under, we're in version 13 here. Um, similar options appear in version 12, although it, the interface does look quite different. So the typical one you get and you sign up for is the um, screencast, okay, which is part of the TechSmith whole suite of products. Uh, TechSmith are the company that provides Snagit and Camtasia and Jing all these kind of screen capturing solutions. Um, you'll see, so there's all these options you can use to upload. And Google Drive is here. So if you've got a Google Drive, this is really awesome. Now you'll see you get here, uh, you get three options. Send to Google Drive, which actually does the work, uploads it. C account connects your account to it and options has just one or two settings to you know, uh, select the folder and whether you want to rename each time, which I'll show you in a moment. So all that's there, but it also appears under the share menu under the top right. Okay, so you'll see the same thing there. Okay. Now I've added in a custom icon into my menu because I use it all the time. Okay, that's really easy to do. Just right click and go customize and then you can add it into there for quick access. So the first thing you want to do is connect your Google account. Okay. Um, I'm going to just go and disconnect mine here and then we can reconnect it account and you've got to then log in with the Google account for your business so your email address and then your password so let me just go and get my password which I'll do off screen put your password in there sign in and that's done you'll get the the permissions verification you just need to click allow and you're done okay so that's your account connected now the next step um, is to set your options. So I'm going to show you this screen just so you're aware of it. But there is an important bug here we need to work around. Okay, so you'll see it's defaulted to my, my drive. That's like the root folder of your Google Google account. Okay, and you can select the folder. Now I'm not going to do that here. I'll show you why in a moment. And you can always ask for file name and folder location. Now. You, I have that always checked and the reason is when you go to upload a file you get a screen looking just like this but there's an extra field that says type in the name of this file and so you can give it a unique name. It's really important because it allows you to um, put some keywords into the file you're uploading so you can search for them because you'll see later I've got literally like two years of uploaded files I can search and find them very very quickly if I need to find an old screenshot. Okay, um, so. I set those options. Now you don't want to select the folder here because there's a bug. It doesn't retain the settings properly for you. The way you want to set that is go and upload your first screenshot and then set the folder location. So let's go and take a screenshot. I'll take one of um, this. Okay, take a screenshot. This is um, a, a tool of we've just built. It's an integration between Asana and Google Forms. So if you want to integrate 
Google Forms to Asana. It's really, really awesome. And we've done lots of documentation on it with Snagit and um, uploaded them and even taken videos with it. So uh, it's a great tool for capturing that type of thing. So here's our setup wizard. We can even annotate it like this and go um, use this setup wizard to get started, okay? And then you want to upload that. So this is where you initiate the upload process. So you can click your custom icon, but I'll do it from the normal way that you'll use and you can just click that there, okay? Now here's the dialogue that you can change the name. I always leave the date and time there because it allows you to know when it occurred, but then write something meaningful that you can use to search for it later, okay? Um, I, the longer the better, put as many keywords into it as you can um, because later you'll be like, um, I, I want to find that thing about the setup wizard and you know, those words will be there. I always put a version number on the end as well. Okay, so I've written the name, now I've got to select the folder. Now here's where the bug is, okay? It, it, so you need to be patient and work through this, but once you've done it once, it's done. So go select folder. Now, this will take a long time to load. Mine takes about four to five minutes, and it may be because I have a lot of folders in my Google Drive, but go away. Make yourself a cup of tea, be patient. When I first did this, I thought it didn't work, but you just need to wait longer, okay? So we're gonna pause the video here and we'll come back in a few minutes and then I'll show you the next step to working around the bug so you can complete it as well. Okay, so now the Google folders have loaded. That took actually quite a while. Um, you can go in, there's the root folder, my drive, Find your company folder, and I have under the admin section so everyone can find it, a scans and screenshots folder, and there is the Dean Snagit folder. So I'll select that. Okay, now do your first upload into that folder. Okay, so we'll save that file. We'll upload it. Okay, now this is the result. You get it won't take long. It's about five seconds. Okay, and we've already got it. It's in your clipboard. So if you open Word, You'll see there's the last one I did there, but I can then repaste this one in there, okay? So very quick to get the output from the upload, okay? Now, so again, I mentioned there's a bug. It doesn't save that folder selection. If you go to upload again, you'll see, I'll just do it from here. You'll see it'll ask for the Google folder again, okay, loading folders. So that's a problem, because you don't want to be mating five minutes every time. So let's cancel that. Okay, so here's what you need to do. On a PC, you need to go, go Control, Shift, and es Escape to bring up the Task Manager. Okay. So let that load. You want to kill, well, you can do it from here, but if you scroll down under S, all the way down, under S. Okay, you'll see the, the Snagit program Okay, and the Snagit helper running there. Okay, so you're gonna end task those. The helper will already die as well. And also up the top here, the Snagit editor program, you wanna kill that as well, okay? So you'll see that die there. Okay, so we can close that down now. Okay, so now when we run it again, it'll work. So if you go to the start menu down the bottom here and type in Snagit, load the main program first. Give it a moment. Okay, now that that's loaded, we can, that will run in the background. Um, we can then load the editor. Okay, so there's Snagit loading now. So if you select the screenshot we had before, we just select it, and you go share. Now if you select Google Drive now, you'll see it'll remember the folder I last selected. Okay, so that works around the bug. You can then uh, rename that and upload again, okay? So I'm just gonna cancel out of that. So the result of that though, is if you go to your Google Drive, here's my Snagit folder. And if I go to the top and I search by last modifier, you'll see the upload I just put into there. It's there available if I re need to reuse it. But you'll see going down, I have literally got 
thousands of these over the years that I've uploaded. Okay, so you can search and find all these screenshots, but you saw the speed of it, we did it before, so it's very, very handy, but then you can, if you want to, you can then share that folder, or maybe the, even you create for your team this folder, and you share that and make that available to your whole team to access, so they've all got access to those shared folders. So I hope you found that helpful. That is um, how to use Google Snagit to upload to Google Drive. Clearly there's a bug there, but I've demonstrated how to work around that bug. But once you've done it once, you don't have to do that setup again. So it's worthwhile just taking a couple of minutes to do it once and you've got a really great solution for uploading constantly to Google Drive. And we've been using it for a couple of years now, so it works really, really well. Hope you enjoy it. So we hope you enjoyed that tech tip from C2 Solutions. Be sure to give the video a like to give it a bit of a boost. If you'd like to get future updates, be sure to subscribe. You'll find the link below or on our mailing list and share it with your friends and colleagues. Look forward to seeing you next time.